Don't you know what kind of rules you want? Hello everybody and welcome to our brand new travel series Carry On with just one carry on bag We are on a mission to carry on no matter what happens and show you the lesser known places all around the world We are currently in Pai which is just about 3 hours from Chiang Mai and this place is already testing the premise of this show Why? Because we did not know it's hay season So I'm not even exaggerating when I tell you we're about to vacation in the world's most air polluted region. On this trip, we've got Shah who is behind the camera, Gaius, our producer, as well as the Singkang cave expert, Nina Tan! And we're going to be showing you canyons and caves, interesting accommodations, as well as good food to try and so much more. Are you ready? Welcome to Pai! So we took a plane for three hours, we drove two and a half hours on a super bumpy, windy road with 760 tons and we are finally here at the land of Thai! Yeah, and we are here at Two Hearts mm -hmm. which is uh, somewhere a bit outskirts from the main, yeah, main attraction site yeah. What's your first impressions of Pai, Noina? I think Pai is a cutie pie <laughs> Honestly, I mean like jokes aside, right? It's like a very cute little town here. Yeah. I don't think you get to see this in a lot of parts of other like, Yeah, like Thailand. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? exactly. Mm. We wanted to show you a combination of different price points. So we went through a very interesting process. And a very intense one as well. We're going to play a game of 2 truth one lie. The winner gets to stay in a $150 per night accommodation. The loser will stay in an $18 per night accommodation. $18. Fun fact number one. Three, two, one. B See, Nina wins! It's B-Bear! <laughs> the hell? Surprise, Daddy. <laughs> So, how's your accommodation? Oh, you mean the poolside suite? Uh-huh. It is amazing because like, it feels like a very resort style kind of vibe and it feels expensive as well. Uh -huh. And I had a very good nap uh -huh. on the bed. The moment I lie down right, I yeah. tore already. Yeah, yeah. And I also took a very good shower with the very good shampoo and the very good yeah. conditioner. And, and a huge bathroom. Yeah. I was very impressed at the sheer size of the bathroom. Oh yes, and but I think I'm more impressed with the fact that um, the moment you step out, right, yeah. is the swimming pool exactly. already. Wow, beautiful. Uh, but I'm more interested mm -hmm. to understand mm -hmm. um, your experience mm -hmm. like with the lower price point accommodation. Yeah, okay, so just to do my due diligence for y'all, yes. I went to the $18 hut. Nice. Hut, huh? Yeah. Hut. Okay, yeah. um, it was basic clean. Uh, honestly, during high season where the weather is cold, I think I honestly could. Okay. But because right now where we are here is 33 degrees, I left immediately oh, you did. <laughs> upon entering the room. Oh. Uh, and I went down to the next hut. Uh -huh. uh, because they've got air conditioning Okay For double the price Which is still about $33 Oh that's not bad not That's so not bad, bad. So, bad. bad. so like if you're spoiled like Aiken You mm. want air conditioner right yeah. You still can pay a little bit more la. But yeah. if you're like me Ghetto is fine Like yeah. fresco. Yeah. I think $18 is okay We haven't seen much of this town But we are going to go for dinner Right after we watch The non-existent sunset Romance Really? It's quite romantic lah. I mean, if you are here with the right person. <laughs> <laughs> We just had dinner at Nas Kitchen. We ordered nine dishes and it was 1,100 baht. I love the curry dishes. If you come here, you have to order the curry dishes. I love it! When I came back last night and I opened the door, there was a cockroach. <laughs> yeah. 
Before we're headed to the hot springs, we are making a stop at Q Espresso. This place is quite aesthetic, right? But also, they are very serious about the coffee because when you order, they'll ask you what kind of roast you want. So, Nina, what kind of roast you want? <laughs> She's blushing eh! Because Put your hands down, you're all red! <laughs> That's the kind of rock I want! <laughs> uh, we are going up a steep slope to the hot spring but we can't make it. The car doesn't go. The car cannot carry and on. And then we are, yeah, yeah the car cannot, cannot carry, carry on. on. And we are rolling, rolling back, back. Up towards the forest fire. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Why we this air? <laughs> Honestly, right, even though this is the world's most polluted country, I'm still having more fun than previous travel logs I did. This is called the Skynam Mineral Hot Spring. Yes. Okay, so despite the hard climb up and despite the insane pollution, we're still going to carry on. <laughs> Okay, it's definitely not like 40 degrees on sand, but it's still quite relaxing. I think I like the fact that it's not very populated, so there's only just us here. And that is also because yeah, we are currently in the worst condition uh, yeah. that it can ever be. Don't, right don't, don't take deep breaths, but I'm sure if you come during a time where it's clearer, it's nice. Look at the view there. Uh, honestly, not bad. Not bad. I think somebody can do like wedding photo shoots here, but, but I think pro tip. Pro tip. If you are driving up, please rent a better car. Do not rent a 1.2 car. If not, you have to experience what we went through just now. Basically, it was a Yaris. Yeah. So do not rent, rent a, a Yaris. Yaris. We're gonna chill here for a while and enjoy the, the view. view. <laughs> the haze. <laughs> Actually, it's really quite crazy how something like that can be happening to like a major tourist attraction here in Pai. So we read the news, right? And the government said they are they are trying to impose like stricter laws mm -hmm. so that these things cannot happen. Cause it's really really less sad for the locals who actually live here and like they survive on tourism. Yeah, also. exactly. This is like oh my god, and not to mention bad for the environment. There is roadkill. <laughs> We are at a cafe called Carrot on the Moon and we are having a uh, handmade pasta, toast but the special mention shout out has got to be for the scallop truffle mushroom papadene. This is extremely good, it's like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I never eat this before but I'm nice eating one, it. Eh? So, so when they have smoke season, there's no tourists right? No tourists, yeah. When the smoke coming, no tourists and the people stay in the country very gossip yeah. like us. Yeah. And then how do you make money during this time? Uh, we, we try to make money with the local people. Oh. Yeah. Where are the fire coming from? They come from the forest, the first uh, reason. The second reason, they come from the farm. We think it's about the corn farm. Corn farm. After they pick up the corn, they burn oh. everything. Prepare so, the yeah. plan for plant the new thing. And it's not just in Thailand? It's not. I think it's not just in Thailand. Maybe north of Myanmar, Thailand, and Laos, Cambodia. Cambodia. Yeah, yeah. This is the worst? Yeah. This is the worst place. I think this uh, this is seem like the four years ago. Oh. Yeah. Four years ago, very bad. And after COVID, it's better. Yeah. We think because the COVID corona, yeah. no no one make the farm. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Then now when it come back again, yeah, then yeah. right. Well, um, thank you. Your food is so good. Thank you. Yeah. What are we doing after this? Go oh. and we're going to lock cave. We are going to lock cave. Thailand's biggest cave. Not the deepest, but the biggest. What does that mean? I don't know, I don't understand. I also don't know. <laughs> Alright guys, we are just shooting some drone shots. And guess what happened? Sandy fell. Yeah, we lost the drone. So right now, we are on a big mission to rescue the drone. Uh, oh! Oh! oh my god, we're still. 
carry on guys. You just not use the rotation thing, is it? Like you turn the fan. Ah! After all that, Aiken? It is on the roof. I went down to the farm. Yeah, and I almost lost you. We lost our drone. Oh my god! So agile! <laughs> oh my god! Victory music, cue here. It's not. We are on the way to the cave. Um, it takes about an hour plus to get there. Today the haze looks better. I don't know why. It looks clearer, thank God. And um, I really don't know what to expect because I actually just left this whole trip to guys and Shah to plan. So I have no idea <laughs> what to expect. He says this is the largest cave. Um, there are bats or something. So how are you feeling about the cave? I really don't know what to expect, but I just hope we don't end up as the Thai cave rescue. Uh, any last words? Supposing this is your last. Uh, yeah. Mm. Stop forest fire. <laughs> stop forest fire. Stop for stop forest fire. Stop forest fire. All right, so we're about to go into Nam Lot Cave. It's my first time. In a cave, eh? Yeah, I, he just told me that he has never been into a cave. Have you before. been into a cave? Uh, I actually did, and I went to the one in Japan. Oh, really? So, yeah, I did. Do you have fun? Uh, it's just very dark and a bit slimy, so we have to be in like the right gears. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you can get, actually get a day pass here, and we've got the day pass that allows us to go to the cave and to the other stuff like the hot spring, to the viewpoints, and stuff like that. Lah. So two caves we're gonna walk, mm -hmm. one cave we got to raft in. Ooh! Are you ready? <laughs> Raft! <laughs> so the temperature has dropped quite a bit just at the entrance of the cave which is really interesting And they are lighting the lamps before they go You can also feed the fishes around and the fishes okay, are me. so fat Our guide says this is like popcorn, cauliflower, or some people's mopping. So we are on a bamboo raft right now, and then there's a lot of fishes around, and we are supposed to feed the fishes. But I personally feel that it's best not to disrupt nature, <laughs> so we are not feeding the fishes. Yeah, you can hear the bat. Yeah, I'm, I'm bothered by it as you can tell. <laughs> I have a verdict on this calf. What? It's batshit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I might be speaking too soon, right? But this was my highlight of the whole trip. Yeah, because this is the first cave that you have been to so far, right? Exactly, and it's the biggest cave. He actually said he enjoyed the, the bamboo rafting the most. Eh? Yeah, you know, okay, so when it comes out into the light, that part, right, it was just like so magical. And it's like, you cannot see stuff like that anywhere else, I guess. So, I really love this. We took about about an hour, 15 minutes, something like that. Yeah, I think we prepared to like be in really hiking gear. Yeah. Because right, um, we also saw some kids here and I don't, I don't think that this is a kids friendly place, honestly. Yeah, yeah. it's a bit so, steep. Ah. Yeah, so be prepared to like do a little bit of workout. Mm. Mm. <laughs> we can <laughs> Fresh water smells like. Yeah. I wouldn't mind that. Yeah. Sawadi crap. Sawadi mine. So, <laughs> so we found this Michelin Bib Gorman restaurant and they serve authentic Thai food. It's not the usual like, you know, like green curry, yellow curry. The, we ordered like river, 
snail, snail curry that was really interesting. The banana flower oh, salad, salad was yeah. very good as well. And the uh, tom yam gong. Yeah, oh my god, so good. Yeah. It's a bit more pricey than like a like yesterday's place, but the quality is there. And it's also like really food that I haven't been able to try in the typical Thailand I think. I think one thing to take note that the opening hours are very specific. Yeah. Okay? It's from uh, mor up morning 11 to when tired and like evening 5 pm to when, <laughs> when tired. tired. So when you come, just make sure you, that they are not tired. They are not tired. If they're tired, then they're not gonna open <laughs> Your problem. Yeah. You eat or you stand you outside. You cannot blame them yeah, eh, because, because they already say open until when they're tired. tired. <laughs> <laughs> So after dinner, we are here at the walking street at Pai for dessert. There's a whole bunch of snacks, stalls, anything you can think of, even like... Mexican food. Mexican food, falafel, pizza, gyoza, um, wheat chops, and... Yeah, what? Oh. Yes lah. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're gonna walk around and see if we can eat stuff and buy stuff. Come to Nina's vlog camp. Alright, are y'all ready to give me some content? Listen to the DOP ah. You have to follow follow my direct. Yeah, no laughing, no laughing. Actually the mic is pointing at me. <laughs> Alright, doggo of the night. Hello! Is it so cute? We've got pretty girls around, pretty girls. Nice friendship bracelet. Hello, hello. <laughs> cakes everywhere, cakes everywhere. Hello, hello. <laughs> ah, night club, night club. Ah, party, party, people. Okay, then we have the local snacks. Local snacks over here. Wow, hello, hello. Very nice. Say hi. From Singapore, Singapore, hello. <laughs> this reminds me of when uh, we were younger and we always go to holiday in Phuket. <laughs> Banana Nutella pancake. What? Don't think about all the. The gym that I'm missing. The cardio. Oh, very hot, very hot. Oh, oh. oh it's so crispy. And the, ba the banana is inside. Right. And chocolate. Wow, oh, shook, man. Shook. I swear this people didn't know, but... It's good. So good. Good. You like? Yeah. Just come here and buy everything. One of each. Just try everything. Ten baht per piece. We are currently at Pombok Waterfall and we're gonna check it out. Uh, we still need to trek, I think, a couple of minutes in. So, uh, there's a lot of cicadas. Cicadas, as you can hear. Welcome to Pambok Waterfalls! Where now, yeah. the waterfall is... It's like my, my pee, the stream, but the last one. <laughs> this yeah. is a lesson to be learned, mm. which is... Don't go chasing waterfalls! <laughs> Not bad! Yeah, right? Not bad! Yeah, Just stick bad. to the rivers and the lakes. Very yeah, good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, yeah... Uh, carry on! On to the next. On to the next. Okay, but seriously, we are just here during dry season. Usually from August to February, it will be full and flowing. Yeah. Just like your <laughs> <laughs> We are at the end of our adventure here in Pai. Nina, how did you find this trip? I think that I'm very glad that you asked me to come along on this trip because this is the first place that we've been to that we have not gone without each other before. That's true, yeah. that's true. And I think there were so many unexpected elements yeah. uh, in this travel and I think everything else was made better because we overcome it together. Right? Yeah, you really yeah. need a friend right? that can just laugh at everything with you. 
even at a dry waterfall when, <laughs> when things are just not going to plan. I think that was so fun. Yeah. But I really think Pi is really for an adventure seeker. You know, okay, because typically, right, I'm not a backpacker style of a traveller. I'm more like a bit bougie. Yes. Some might say. Lux. But, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. but um, it's super cool to experience this. I think if you are outdoorsy, if you are an uh, adventure seeker, this is like totally, will be totally up your alley. But also, we want to sort of listen to book when she was asking us if we could help raise awareness about the haze situation that's happening here in Pai. She mentioned that every year this happens to them and business is really affected, tourism yeah. is affected and health is affected. Yeah. And so she's also hoping that through this video more people will be able to raise awareness and the government will be able to impose stricter laws when it comes to the burning forest situation. Yeah, the, yes. the forest situation. Yeah. So Nina, thanks for joining us Thank on this for trip. Having me. Uh, I will leave you B for now because I saw handsome guys, so I go first. <laughs> okay, so where are we going next? We're going to 